What's up everybody? Today I want to tell you about a tool that comes in super handy, whether you're a plumber, electrician, mechanic, or just a general handyman, a pair of side cutters is going to be just the tool for the job in a lot of cases, and it's just overall pretty versatile. So I've had multiple pairs of these things, and I've kind of gotten a feel for different types and how they work and what works best for my needs. So let's start by talking about what you might use these for. Um, but first of all, just cutting stuff. Copper wire, aluminum wire, uh, screws and nails, although not all of these are made to cut hardened screws and nails. Uh, these can even be used to pry nails. When you use this screw as kind of a demonstration, you would just go all the way back to the to the bottom of the cutting jaws and you would grip tightly enough to grip but not enough to cut it and just just pivot this up and you can do that with you know staples or nails or screws whatever it is you need to pry out just grip tight enough to grip but not tight enough to cut and it can be a pretty uh, simple way of, of pulling a nail or screw out of wood so back to the the core design of these to cut stuff so this particular pair are made to cut hardened wire. Let's back it up one step. The last pair I had, a conventional pair of channel lock brand. They've got the extended handles for a, an increased leverage and I had used them enough on really harder stuff than what I should have. Uh, you know, hardened steel screws, uh, hardened wire, and I put a couple nicks in the blade and it was just time for a new pair. So as I'm looking around at the different brands and doing my research online to figure out what the best brand is, I land on a company called NWS, I'm not sure what it stands for, but that's a company name, out of Germany. And they're supposedly the Cadillac of cutting pliers. So I dig in a little bit further. You can get them here in the States, but they just don't have a good di distribution system. Uh, they're just not, not easy to come by. So as I dig a little bit further, I find that Irwin, who I am usually not too impressed with their hand tools, but in this particular line, they are simply uh, rebranded NWS pliers, power slot, you can see made in Germany there. So they're the same exact NWS pliers, just with different colored handles, and they actually come in at a little bit lower price point. I think these were 30 or $35 at the time that I purchased them. I haven't looked lately to see what they sell for. So what makes these pliers so good, these cutting pliers, really? Well, first of all, the jaws are made of a hardened steel that's meant to cut heavy wire, piano wire, you know, hardened screws, things of that nature. The next thing would be the pivot system. So, of course, a, a conventional pair of side cutters just has one pivot here, and whatever your ratio is from the cutting jaws to the handles, that's the leverage that you have. These are a little bit different. They actually have two pivots. There's a pivot up here, and then there's another one down here. So let's turn this back around. On this jaw, let's consider this just a stationary jaw. On this cutting jaw, we're looking at just this short piece here, which pivots up here. Then these handles have a pivot down lower, and this nub mounted to the handles moves this upper cutting jaw. So I don't know what the exact percentages are, how much increased leverage that gives you, but it's pretty significant. I can cut with some ease a hardened steel construction screw, and when I try that with my old pair of pliers, it will get through it, but it is really tough, and I'm afraid I'm gonna get my fingers pinched in there by squeezing too hard. Well, these do the job pretty easily. So there's always a trade-off, you know, increased power, decreased speed kind of thing. Well, for the added leverage and our added torque, you have to expand these handles a lot further. So let's say, so our, uh, our cutting jaws are open the same amount on these right now. And you can see that, yeah, they were lined up. You can see that the Irwins have to be expanded another inch, inch and a half to to get the same size bite on the same you know, size wire or whatever it is you're cutting. So as a comparison between just a conventional style and this style, it kind of depends on what your needs are. If you're gonna be cutting some heavy wire screws and whatnot, definitely go for the Power Slot, the Irwin brand. 
if you're just cutting, you know, light copper wire, or even heavy copper wire, even 10 gauge Romex, these might be the better way to go because easier to get the jaws open further. So all in all, would I buy these again? Definitely. I'm also keeping an eye out for another pair. I think I might have my eye on a pair of Kleins that mimic this same style, just so that it's easier to get a bite on bigger wire in that case. As an alternative to that, instead of having two pair, you can get by just fine with just a pair of Lyman's pliers because they can work pretty well for getting a bite on regular copper wire if that's all you need to cut. So hopefully that's helpful in your search for the best pair of side cutters. Comment below and let me know what your favorite tools are when it comes to house repair and maintenance. We'll see you next time.